lovely people welcome back to another vlog it's tia teomi here today is tuesday but i believe it's the 21st of feb leaving off from my last vlog and today was supposed to be a self-care day i remember telling you guys in my last vlog that today was going to be a self-care day and it's completely changed i've moved my self-care to my self-care day to sunday because it is one of my favorite uncle's birthdays today i think i said this in the last vlog and we're meeting up we're all meeting up for his birthday just gonna go see him he was with me on my birthday when i was not in a great space mentally and so people like that mean the world to me and i feel like the lighting's not great i'm hoping that's helped i've turned the lamp on in the living room it's a vibe by the way <laughs> yeah people like that mean the absolute world to me and so i'm making a day out of it i'm meeting my cousins and their baby my baby cousin love him to pieces so i'm going to be with them today going to grab some food i was supposed to have counseling but we've rescheduled to tomorrow and yeah then i'm gonna go and spend the evening with my uncle for his birthday so it's quite a full day i don't know if i'm gonna vlog much because i really want to be present and in the moment so i'm gonna spend some time with him today and then i will catch you guys later sorry guys i don't think i updated you on exactly what i'm wearing today the fit let me put you guys in the mirror so you can see me properly i found that this is one of the best angles for me to record my outfit of the days from so i've got these high-waisted well i don't even know if they're high-waisted but there's some mom rise i think they're mom rise mom rise jeans from zara that i got last year i got a bunch of jeans last year from zara and they were all like five pounds each in sale and so it was a bargain for me to get i've got the same exact top i had on i think it was yesterday but it's just a white version and i've made it a whole tunic again so it's a bit of a vibe it's a bodysuit and i got this oversized blazer this dad fit blazer from um, Primark that I got last year as well. I can't remember how much it was at the time, but utter vibe. So I'm gonna wear this, and I think I might put my dunks on with a like a brownish bag. <laughs> hello lovely people i don't know the time like i always do i'll put it on the screen but i'm back from my spontaneous day out with my cousins and my uncle for his birthday it's not actually that late i think it's like is it seven half seven or something to eight something like that and my plan is to continue this website for my client catch up with a few friends on the phone because i have not been on my phone all day and literally just relax for a bit because this week I feel like it may be easy for me to get overwhelmed with everything that I've got going on. It's quite a busy week this week. And I just feel like if I'm not taking like proper care of myself mentally, like physically in terms of food and things like that, then it will be easy for me to feel overwhelmed, tired, drained and probably even depressed. So yeah, um, tomorrow on the agenda is counselling. I moved my counselling to tomorrow. So I've got counselling in the morning. Then I'm doing somebody's hair on um, in the afternoon. And then I've got the evening to myself again. So I'll continue with my client's website. Thursday, I have got two interviews. And then I'll be doing the website <laughs> for my client. Friday, I've got someone's hair. <laughs> and then I'll also, again, be continuing the website but i almost i also might be going out to my friend's birthday party which i'm still in two minds about um but yeah that is the plan right now there's not really much left of today I, like i said earlier i didn't really want to do like too much recording or anything only because it was like family time and i wanted to be present and in the moment it was a baby obviously my cousin my baby cousin and i'm just not comfortable with like sharing him or just things like that so yeah morning lovely people it has actually been a while since i recorded and vlogged because this week alone has been so hectic so like on the go off i've actually ended up being overwhelmed which i think i mentioned to you guys earlier this week i didn't want to feel and i'm actually feeling it so what's happened this week i think last time we spoke was tuesday last time i spoke to you guys and i believe i went out for my uncle's birthday i think I think I went to see my uncle. And then Wednesday I had counselling, I had somebody's hair to do. Thursday, it ended up being like a mix, like such a messy day. But I ended up, um, my friend ended up staying over with me. And then Friday, I ended up doing someone's hair and trying to sleep off what had happened on the Thursday. And um, I also went to my friend's birthday party. And now we're on Saturday. So I've said to myself, I'm going into hibernation now. I don't have the energy to give anymore. <laughs> right now, anyway. I need to give to myself. I need to pull back into myself. I'm feeling drained. And I feel like I'm in a space in my life where I'm trying to listen more to what 
I believe Holy Spirit is telling me or what my body's telling me. I feel like right now it's saying, so that's what I'm going to do. I've wet my hair in the shower this morning because today and tomorrow I'm going to be spending some time doing my hair. I want to lock my hair. I feel like my hair needs to be hidden away. I need some protective styling right now. So I'm running into town very quickly. I'm going to grab some hair. So that I can start locking my hair. Um, I'm not going to be rushing my way through it. Because I've got nothing planned for the next few days. More or less. This week coming I don't actually have a lot planned. And I want to try and keep it as minimal as possible. Because I feel like I need to replenish. I don't know if that's the word. But yeah I feel like I need to replenish. <clears throat> I put like a snippet here of me last night. I got dressed up and stuff. And did go out. And it was really it was nice. It was nice. I didn't really want to go. Because I've, I've been feeling the need to kind of hibernate for a minute now. But it was my, one of my closest friends, so I had to I had to go. Yeah, we're going to get on with the day. I'm going to pop into town. I probably won't vlog it because, yeah, I feel like you guys have seen me going into town a lot. But I'll probably show you guys the hair that I end up getting. And you'll probably see me next when I am beginning my hair. And I think over the next few days, I really need to listen to my needs. Like, Tia, what do you need? What do you need? Oh, gosh. I also forgot to say, guys, that I am making a few returns from the stuff that i got from zara i'm just not in this bag it's in another one so i'm making a few returns i picked up a few things as you guys know the brown top i'm returning returning i got a dress but i don't think i showed you guys it was just like a white shirt dress but i didn't really like the fit of it on me so i'm returning that and i'm returning the, the cute brunch girls one i don't know why i'm returning that one so they're just telling me to return it so i'm gonna return it i'm sure if i want it, it will be there again because it's not like it's a sale item that one is just like there so yeah i'm gonna go and do those returns get my hair probably grab a starbucks like a hot chocolate or something because i could do with that right now and i am then coming back home i'm gonna put some movies on put some food in the oven and get on with this hello lovely people i am back as you can probably tell my hair has fully dried now <laughs> but there's no worries about that i'm gonna be putting it away but i did go to the hair shop and i bought some hair i was just being very random because i didn't i've got a vibe that i want to go for i'll link the video of the tutorial that i'm going to be following down below but i really wanted like some some passiony kind of vibes i've got two lengths because i kind of want to layer i want to layer i want to do a bit shorter in the front and then i want the back to kind of fall long and then i'm going to be putting some of my human hair that i got i'm going to be like feeding it through kind of giving it that messy look i've just got these to kind of utilize and wrap around just in case i've done a bunch of returns in zara and i've just ended up with this i went and i've just got a basic because like i said i want more basics why don't put this on throw this on with this these bottoms because um I feel like I'm going to sweat out a bit, so I might just throw this on whilst I'm doing my locks. But yeah, that's literally what I got. I'm going to throw some food in the air fryer, and then we're going to get straight onto my hair. Today, I'm just going to be doing my hair. So I'm going to start by basically braiding all my hair, just plaiting my hair in singles, and then I'm going to be locking it. So, Okay, guys. Hello. Just thought I'd update you guys. I am halfway up my head, which is actually good considering. I can't see the back of my head, so don't judge me for the parts. But um, I wanted to do a layered look, so I wanted really long in the back, so these are 24 inches. I wanted 24 in the back, and then I got a pack of 18 that can kind of layer, frame my face a bit more up top. I wanted it to be really full in the back, and then kind of like flat up top, because I don't really like too much hair on my head. Um, and I don't want these to be too heavy. But to be fair, I thought it was going to take me way longer than it has already, just to get halfway. And I've had a break and all. It hasn't taken me long. I think I started at around something past two three and i've already got half up my head and i've only got this bit to do literally just the top half and i'm not putting a lot of locks up here i don't want a lot but i'm thinking to like take out a few bits at the front and do like curls because i kind of want that messy boho kind of look like one with the f so yeah i just thought that update you guys on my hair thus far and i will revisit you guys when i'm finished <laughs> people good morning good morning I'm guessing i should say afternoon actually it is sunday today my hair is finished i finished last night at about 11 p.m i'm still getting used to it i feel like i might cut out some of these pieces just because i don't feel like they came out as i wanted them to but the locks themselves are 
are it. I do like the locks. I like the texture of them. Let's bring you guys in a bit closer. The texture of them, the definitely a vibe. Um, and I got my little curls here at the front. So yeah, my hair came out quite nice. I just thought I'd sit down with you guys because I feel like this week I haven't really been as interactive with you guys or communicated as much and this week has really been a lot i think i've stated i've stated it a couple of times in this um vlog specifically but this week has just been a lot and i touched on it yesterday i just feel like i'm going into a place of hibernation again where i, I really need to kind of gather myself look after myself feed myself figure out what it is that tia needs right now and then go from there I do have a few clients in terms of hair to do this week. I'll be doing that. Other than that, I'm hoping that this week can be really focused on me and my needs and what I really need right now. Ever since leaving my job, I've been trying to be as intentional with myself as possible. Even with the little things like you guys seen and I think a few vlogs back where I was like doing bouquets of flowers. Like I'm trying to romanticize more. I'm trying to be more intentional with myself more. And I feel like it starts with those little things that we probably wait for other people to do. We should do it for ourselves first. So yeah, today my plan is to have a bit of a Sunday reset. So I'm going to be neating up the house, doing a bit of hoovering, lighting some candles, watching some movies, doing some content and eating food. That's literally my plan today. I'm also going to be replanning my week. I'm going to be planning the week ahead, what's to come, what am I doing so that I'm in order and it doesn't feel all too much when stuff starts happening. Somebody actually left a comment on one of my previous videos and they asked about living alone at a young age, like financially, being financially stable and all that kind of stuff. I'm really not the person <laughs> for that, but I can touch on my experience of it. I originally, for those that don't know, I originally moved out when I was about 17, 18. I went off to university and I went to Nottingham Trent University so it was in Nottingham and that's where I like, had my student accommodation I haven't been back home since that so I went off went to uni from there I ended up moving to Burton on Trent and renting um, a two-bed apartment with my ex-fiance I was actually engaged for those that don't know but I rented a two-bed apartment there and then went on to a four-bed house and after my engagement or you know fell through the floor I came back to Birmingham, which is my hometown, and decided to move into an apartment here. And I guess it just kind of was like an, a knock-on effect. It's not like I necessarily planned a lot of it. I feel like a lot of it I just fell into. It wasn't something that I was like, oh, you know what, at this age I wanna be doing this, 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 and this. And even if, when I did plan that, it wasn't like this. This wasn't the plan. This all wasn't the plan. Even the whole interior design wasn't the plan. It was originally I wanted to do counselling and then I found a real passion for interior design when I ended up redecorating my house at the time, my four bed property at the time when my ex left. I wanted to redesign it and make it kind of like a, a woman's space. And that's where I found a real passion for interior design and realised, wow, this is something that I feel like I could see myself doing. So that's kind of where all of this came in. With regards to financial stability, I feel like you just have to learn how to live according to your means. I'm still getting better at it. I like to shop, I like to buy clothes, I like to buy home stuff, and sometimes it leaves me broke by the end of the month. So I think um, just being able to live according to your means, just because somebody else can afford design a bag doesn't mean you need to do it too. Do you know what I mean? I think that's probably my, my best advice. But also, um, I, had a, I had a piece of advice from my cousin. Yeah, I had a piece of advice from my cousin a few weeks ago. And one thing that she said to me, I was going through like a rough time financially, and she said, Tia, money comes and money goes. And yes, it's probably not the safest way to live, but ever since she said it, it stuck with me. And I've been living with that. Not like making stupid decisions in regard to spending, but also not holding myself hostage to be able to enjoy certain things. And even the things that I do enjoy, they don't have to be expensive. For example, the flowers that I did do the other day, it was £1.99 per bouquet. It was like really affordable, but it looks, do you know what I mean? It, it's romanticized, it looks lovely, it's beautiful. And I enjoyed that, it was for me. If it's on the odd occasion, I wanna order myself a dessert, I can still go and do that. Do you know what I mean? It's more about budgeting. How much do you wanna spend on rent? How much do you wanna spend on bills? And then how much do you wanna spend on the other things of life? But one thing that I will also say is, living alone does come with sacrifice and that's just the reality of the situation. You, you're not gonna move out and not experience hardship in terms of certain things that do happen with, with things gone wrong in the house or you're needing something or groceries or whatever it is, you, you're gonna face that here and there. It's natural when you live alone. And I think just not being a stranger to that, 
before you move is a big thing that's what I, that's another piece of advice i'd say don't be a stranger to things actually happening when you move out because things happen and they will happen and that's the reality but yeah that's that's probably what i'd say from my experience thus far it's been amazing living alone if you was to ask my mom she said she wouldn't change it for the world she's happy that i'm away <laughs> me and her still speak every day but it's even helped my relationship with my mom because we're in two different spaces two women in one space sometimes isn't for everybody and me and my mom have become best friends ever since moving out i've grown up i've got more responsibility ever since moving out so yeah um i'd say something that's on your heart something that you really want to do definitely study definitely look into it and go for it you can always go back for me it wasn't like that for some it's not like that but you can always go back you can there's always another way if that makes sense so if you move out and you say okay i'm going to do a six month contract you don't have to stay do you know what I mean? You can, after the six months, you can decide to leave and go back home. At least you've tried it. For me, I've moved out and I can't imagine going back to my mum's house unless I was like desperate. But I can't imagine myself going back to my mum's house because I love being in my own space and I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that I can stay in my own space because it's part of me now. I enjoy it. It's, what, it's how I live. It's how I've lived for like the past five, six years. So I wouldn't want to change that. But yeah, that, that's probably what I would say. Hopefully that's helped. I don't know if it has, but yeah, that's what I'd say guys. So today, as I just said, I'm going to be doing a bit of cleaning. I'm going to be finishing hoovering up the floor. I feel like it takes days to hoover up after I've done hair, especially hair like this. There's like bits of hair on the floor and it's going to be hoovered up throughout the week. So I'm going to continue hoovering, do a bit of content, a bit of a Sunday reset, plan my week. I'll be taking you guys in on that. Um, but yeah, that is me guys. I will catch you guys in a moment. So guys, I actually ended up changing my top because the other one was riding up. This is the one that I got from Primark. I feel like it's got two white bits on it. And I don't know why, but hey, I'm in the house. It's not that deep. I just want to see a bit cute in the house today. Some days, be cute in your house, guys. Some days. So we're going to get on to planning my week. Let me show you guys my planner. I've got an aesthetically pleasing planner from flying tiger not long ago i need to actually change the quote on here i like to put quotes on here when there's no projects or plans on there but yeah this is this is my plan of the week this is from last week so i'm gonna have to change this now to the upcoming week ahead <laughs> <laughs> last week and i am going to be cooking the chicken in the air fryer just took it out of the freezer yesterday it's defrosted so i'm going to be having some chicken rice potatoes and broccoli for dinner today we finna eat so yeah we're gonna get on to dinner I'm obsessed with the air fryer, by the way. I'm obsessed with it. I'm about to put it in the air fryer.
right guys so i finished my food i decided not to add rice because i just wasn't feeling for rice what a time what a time what a time it is that point in the video guys it's time for me to say bye i enjoyed my food and i'm spending the rest of the day chilling i've got a weird feeling my friend is gonna want to go back to donuts and chai because we just spoke about it and i'm feeling for a cookie dough after that dinner it was actually really nice and i feel like i'm getting to a point now with my meals where i'm trying not to cook things for the sake of cooking it like rice and all them kind of things when i know i'm not going to finish the food so yeah it was really nice it was the perfect amount and i've also got some left over for tomorrow so i will be catching you guys later on in the week as i go through it this week is going to involve a lot of self-care a lot of time for me which i mentioned earlier i hope that you guys have a blessed week and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys